Executive Algorithm, Dr. Rajvinder Kaur, with her study on association of postnatal risk factor with progression of ROP in preterm twin neonates. Good afternoon, everyone. So my topic is the association of postnatal risk factors with the occurrence and progression of ROP in preterm twin in neonates. So the ROP is a complex disease of the developing retinal vasculature in infants born prematurely. Recent advances in the areas of NICU have improved the survival rates of preterm in infants, thereby increasing the incidence of ROP. And uh, the incidence has already, uh, uh, already been covered. So the main aim was to evaluate the influence of weight gain per day with the progression of ROP in preterm to in neonates. Uh, so uh, the other risk factors, prematurity, twins, mechanical ventilation, oxygen therapy, sepsis, they were also taken into account for the development of our ROP. So the postnatal, the, that is the weight gain per day involved in the progression of ROP was seriously looked at. And uh, it is a case control study, observational, and perspective studies, uh, as well as the taking the retrospective and prospective data in a tertiary care hospital. So in the inclusion criteria, babies, twin neonates less than 35 weeks, the, uh, according to the weight less than 1750, and uh, less than 2000 when there is associated risk factors. So the study subjects a total of 56 preterm twin subjects, that is 112 wise, after considering the risk factors were included. So selected twin ne neonate after getting uh, admitted in the NICU of pediatric department delivered in institutionally or outborn, they were uh, in, uh, obtained uh, after the consent from the attendants of the neonates were examined by the same ophthalmologist and data was recorded. And the, after discharge, the neonates were followed in the OPD of the pediatrics and ophthalmology department. So the, on regular screening, it was observed that ROP regressed in 46 eyes, and all of which were good weight babies. That is, the weight gain was more than 14 gram per day. Whereas the, those babies with the poor weight gain, they showed the progression of ROP requiring the treatment. So this is the ch chart which showed that babies uh, with the poor weight gain uh, along with the other risk factors, it was mainly looked for that the poor weight gain, they, uh, they, there was progression of the ROP. But when they, the weight gain is good, uh, there was a regression from the, uh, there was a reg uh, regressed ROP. So this was the overall data, 112 eyes excluded 16 eyes, included 96 eyes. And uh, that is 46 size, there was a regression of ROP and progression within 26 size, which in, in with these patients, anti vegf and laser in 6 size, laser alone in 17 eyes, and three patients underwent three, uh, that is, uh, um, surgeries. So this is a patient with the, that is, stay, uh, stay, uh, stage 3 zone 2 ROP, pre plus ROP, and laser done, baby discharge with satisfactory conditions. And here we can see the nasal RD on, on the nasal side. And uh, the, uh, previously, the la first of all, the laser was done, followed by the lens sparing vitrectomy in both eyes. Has, there was one another child with the grassy ROP with the pre-retinal uh, bleed. Uh, the patient was injected anti vegf first, followed by laser, and followed by vitrectomy in the right eye at the... Um, and the, uh, it is uh, while giving intravital injection, the image is taken uh, showing the t t um, TVL. That is tunica vesiculosa lentis in, uh, with the non-dilating pupil. So uh, the, uh, we, uh, this study and Anna at all concluded in their study that poor weight gain and the low calorie intake at the second week of age were associated with severe ROP requiring the laser treatment in very low worth weight baby. So monitoring the weight gain and the calorie intake during this period, they are essential and they may be the predictors uh, to, for the uh, retinopathy of prematurity occurrence. Uh, the other study also concluded that the postnatal weight gain is highly predictive of ROP and investigators have incorporated weight gain uh, measures to develop the most specific criteria for ROP screening. So our study also shows the positive correlation between the weight gain uh, with the progression and regression of ROP. So we should aggressively work towards the rapid weight gain in preterm along with the help of neonatologists. So parents counseling is very important. Uh, to prevent the uh, side threatening sequelae of the ROP. Thank you. Yeah, Dr. Rajvinder, I uh, could not get uh, the aim, I think. You compared the twin babies, or why did you choose twin 
twin uh, actually we want you to see uh, in the twins between some, the uh, twins between the twins okay. that why the some babies are uh, progressing and some babies are not progressing so we compared the twins okay and 16 eyes were excluded you told uh, uh, they were lost to follow up they they could not come to fo our follow up uh, on our center because they were far from uh, so we asked them to follow there only some so other center which is near to their place right so it is four set of twins yes